to the villas at Bloomfield Grove by Robertson Brothers Homes. Now this house is a 2,700 square foot ranch style home, so it's all on one level, but it does have an amazing finished basement. So I'm gonna show you every single bit of this floor, and then we're gonna travel below to see the fully finished walkout basement on this beautiful monster. If you're new here and new to my channel, my name's Paul and I make videos like this about living in cities, areas, and towns all over Metro Detroit, Michigan. And I also do home tours like this one. So if you like this sort of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you would like to buy one of these houses, reach out because I'm also a full-time real estate agent and I can help you make that happen. So right when you walk through the door, right over here to your left, you've got this study area. So you can have it as like a TV room or you could turn it into an office either way. I mean, it would be really easy to pop some doors on here. So over here, we're walking into the first suite. So this is only a two bedroom house, but there is a third bedroom in the basement. So we're here in this bedroom, we walk over here, and we've got a full on suite. So you've got a big walk-in shower, bathroom, walk-in closet, and I love the super high ceilings and super tall black doors. We have black doors at our house, and I love them. So you come out of here, and immediately to your left, we have another powder room. So this is like the common bath that everyone would sort of use in here, right out here to your stairway down to your basement. Well, we're not gonna look at the basement just yet. We're gonna wait for that. Look at this wide open living room. So you've got this giant living room that opens all the way to the kitchen. Look at the size of that island over there. Right over here, we've got this dry bar with a wine fridge. All of the appliances in this house have been completely upgraded. Can you imagine entertaining here? You're all hanging out here eating the chips and dip. I always like to talk about the chips and dip. Watching the TV over here, watching the big game on the big screen. Right over here to my left, we have the dining room area, which is perfectly placed. It's not far away from everything, and you've got this view. Not every house in the entire subdivision is going to have that view, but it's a pretty nice one. And it leads out here to this covered patio. I love it! All right, so right off of the kitchen area, you walk down this hallway, you've got a pantry over here on your right, and then you have your laundry here on your left with this big sliding black door. Oh, look at that, sliding, sliding. So your laundry can be going on right here, and then you walk through these big double doors into your master suite. Look at this. It's huge. The other thing I really love about this is you have his and hers closets. So you have one right over here. And at first I thought this was the only one, but it's not. You travel out here. Oh, this bathroom. You could have a party in this shower. It's absolutely huge and it has a bench. So you come through here and you have the other walk-in closet and it's huge. You have a party in here, party in the shower, just partying all over this house. There is a linen closet in here, so you don't have to like run out, get your stuff. And again, I love this. I love the flow of this house. Come over here and you have your mudroom area attached to your garage. So you have a couple closets here. So you've got a pantry here. And then you've got your cloak closet here. So you've got this giant cloak closet, coat closet. Can you say coat closet? Yeah. So if you like this style house, but maybe don't want to spend $1.9 million, you want to you know, go a little bit less than that, uh, there's probably going to be a community for you that'll work out. Just mention my name when you talk to anybody at Robertson or just reach out to me directly and I'll help you build one. The association fee on these homes is $700 a month, but it covers everything. It covers general maintenance of the exterior, exterior insurance and water, landscaping, snow removal, roof repair and replacement, and even road maintenance. That's a lot of stuff. So like $700 a month, that's worth it. Especially if you're moving from like a giant massive house that you had to take care of.
So the starting price on this floor plan is a little over $1.3 million, but this exact house is selling for over 1.9 million because of all of the upgrades and additions that have been done to it. So you just have to walk around here and check it out. Now Robertson Brothers has communities all over Metro Detroit, everywhere from Novi, we've got Bloomfield Hills, we've got one coming in in Franklin, they've got uh, developments in Detroit, sort of everywhere, and at all different price points. And now we're gonna travel below to the basement. Oh, you, I'm so excited for you to see this basement. One of the benefits of living in Michigan is most of the houses have basements and when they're finished, they could be amazing because it feels like just another room in the house or another floor to the house. So this one has a full kitchen down here. It doesn't have a stove, but just about everything else. You've got a dishwasher, you've got a sink, you've got a refrigerator. I mean, come on, you just, you can't cook down here, but that's about it. You could if you wanted to add something. And it's a full walkout, so you can just walk outside, like just another part of the house. We travel over here and we have another bedroom. So this is the third bedroom in this home. Again, this is originally just built as a two bedroom home with an unfinished basement, but this has a full bedroom down here. Part of the reason why it is nearly $2 million for this house. And then we've got a bathroom right here. So we have a full bath. So if your guests are staying over here, your guests will be able to use this bathroom, sleep right there, and then, you know, do most of the kitcheny things. One of the biggest problems I see with most finished basements is that they take up all of your usable space, but not this one. This one has a ton of extra space that you can either finish off or you could just use as storage. So you come around here and it's just huge. Travel back here. You could add another bathroom down here. You could add whatever you want. Or you just store your stuff, your Christmas trees, your decorations. Come over here and there's even more space. I do have to show you this because this is what I would do if this were my house. Over here we have this door that's right next to the kitchen. And if this were my house, I'd turn this into a bookshelf and I'd have a hidden room right here because again, it's huge. You have like a little speakeasy down here. So this neighborhood has two different floor plans available. They've got the Hickory and the Sequoia. The Hickory is this one right here and it's a ranch style, two bed, two and a half bath, 27, 25 square feet. And then you've got the Sequoia, which is a story and a half. So you've got bedrooms on your main floor and then a couple bedrooms on the upper floor. That one is three bedrooms, three and a half baths and 3,468 square feet. It's crazy big. Both of the houses do offer three car garage options. So if you're a car lover like me, you put a three car garage on there. I would, that's exactly what I would do. So there are a couple available lots in here where you could still build one of these brand new, fresh, no one has ever lived in it before. And if you'd like to do that, you're probably going to need to use construction financing. And I do have a construction loan financing specialist and I'll give you all his information. I'm gonna put it all below so that you can do it if you wanna do it. 